Welcome back to the Hollywood News Channel, where we update you with the latest news of the day. Hello, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Former U.S. presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has said that she wants to put her arms around Meghan Markle and comfort her over the racist and sexist treatment she has received. Speaking to Emma Barnett on BBC Radio 5 Live, the former U.S. Secretary of State said that the treatment of Meghan over the past three years has been heartbreaking and wrong. She appeared on the program with her daughter Chelsea, who said the Duchess had absolutely faced a racially charged backlash after her relationship with Harry began in 2016. Meghan has faced widespread scrutiny and public attention in recent months, with husband Harry suggesting there was a tabloid campaign against his wife. The royal couple have also launched legal action against several UK newspapers. Ms. Clinton said, I think even if you go back and look at social media from the time the engagement was announced, race was clearly an element in it. And to think that some of your, what we would call mainstream media, actually allowed it to be printed in their pages or amplified was heartbreaking and wrong. She has made her own way in the world, and then she falls in love, and he falls in love with her, and everybody should be celebrating that because it's a true love story. You can just look at them and see that. The former first lady said her maternal instincts drove her to give advice and support to Meghan. She continued, I feel as a mother, I just want to put my arms around her. Oh my God, I want to hug her. I want to tell her to hang in there. Don't let those bad guys get you down. Keep going, do what you think is right. You know, it's not easy and there are some techniques that can be learned along the way some humor, some deflection, whatever, which I'm sure she will come to. But it is tough what she's going through, and I think she deserves a lot better. Both Clintons appeared at the South Bank Center in London on Sunday to promote their new book, The Book of Gutsy Women, Favorite Stories of Courage and Resilience. When Barnett asked the pair about the women featured in the book, they said Margaret Thatcher was not included because she had very little interest in making a positive difference. Ms. Clinton said that while the former Prime Minister was certainly gutsy and strong, she had a conflicted record. She doesn't fit the other part of the definition, in our opinion, which really is knocking down barriers for others and trying to make a positive difference. I think the record is mixed with her. I thought she was incredibly strong, but I think on the criterion that we were looking at, okay, what were the positive differences, the changes that this person made? that really opened doors to more, that wasn't that apparent. Chelsea Clinton added, I do think for us you can separate our gutsiness from leading a life that is full of purpose for yourself and also for others. The interview with Hillary and Chelsea Clinton will air on the Emma Barnett show on Tuesday at 10 a.m. The elder Clinton also appeared on the one show this evening where she discussed the possibility of another presidential run. She said, I say the same thing every time people ask. I'll do everything I can to retire the incumbent. That can be by supporting those running. I'm just grateful for the opportunities that I have had. I love being in public life, the good, the bad, the ugly. A lot are pushing hard for me to run again, but I really believe we have to keep our focus on what it will take to get a new president and get our country back. All the attacks on our institutions, undermining the rule of law, everything that's going on. I think we are in a global struggle for democracy and I don't say that lightly. I think there's a rise of autocrats who think it's their way or no way and I'm worried there are people in my country, including the president, who are enamored and who seem to have great admiration for dictators who wants to do away with all the messiness of coming together to make decisions. It's hard in a democracy, you don't have someone telling you what to do, you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna vote, participate and support the best direction and there can be differences, that's all part of it. I'm really worried about my country right now and I want to make sure whoever is running knows what the stakes are. Speaking about abuse that she has received on social media, Ms. Clinton added, it used to do way more than it does now. People accuse you of things that aren't true. It's troubling, hurts and can be painful, but when it goes on you realize it's more about them than you. What bothers me is the women's voices who will be silenced because of the threats online. So vile. That's happening in the UK. 
you're having an election and a lot of women parliamentarians are saying we won't run again. Once you poke our head up and say we want to be a member of whatever party you get assaulted online. You had Joe Cox murdered around the Brexit controversy. There are real threats and there are all of the insults and bigotry and prejudice that unfortunately gets amplified online. You have to be willing to face that but you shouldn't be expected to. We should all stand together. Thank you so much for joining us and see you again next time. Bye. Thank you for watching the Hollywood News. Don't forget to like and share the updates to the latest information of the day.